everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another roundup of Amazon favorites. I obviously have been in a very transitionary, is that the right word? Um, I've been in a place in my life where I have had to do more shopping than pretty much ever with moving and settling into a new place. So I have accumulated quite a few things. However, I've narrowed this down to my top 10, I think it's like around 10, um, over the past several months. I believe the last time I filmed this video was in June. So it's been several months. We're almost at the end of the year, holy crap. So yeah, if you guys wanna see me talk about some great stuff on Amazon that I really love and maybe you would love, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so first things first, I think this was made popular on TikTok. This is what I think um, like tanks and a lot of other like famous like tiktokers um they tout this as like the adult sippy cup which i think is super fun this is a simple modern like insulated tumbler and it comes in a bunch of different colors a bunch of different patterns a bunch of different sizes i think i have the 24 ounce size and it's honestly just what i use to drink my water out of it's very heavy like this actually reminds me of the material that uh like a hydro flask is made out of so it keeps your water cool um obviously there's like a straw with like a little opening it doesn't like seal it in you know what i mean but it does keep your water very very, very cool i'm someone who has like a water dispenser in my fridge and so i'll get my water that way and it stays cold for hours and hours and hours and i'm someone who loves hydro flask i personally feel like i am always trying to stay hydrated and having this is just so easy to travel with or in your car um, because you don't have to open a lid to drink it and then get it all over yourself like this is something that you could definitely drink um basically hot or cold items out of i think but for me personally i love drinking water out of it it's Always make sure to wash it thoroughly. It washes really well. I haven't put it in the dishwasher. It might be dishwasher safe, is it? Let's see, 24 ounce classic, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say if it's dishwasher safe. Um, I would personally just hand wash it. I soak it and then I scrub it. So that's how I personally wash this. But yeah, it comes in a bunch of different colors and like ombres. And I don't know, I love it. It's really like my number one. Well, I have, all these are obviously my favorites, but this is something that I truly use every single day. Another product I love, and I think this has changed my game in terms of all of these products. Well, there's two of them, but this thing right here, I have been wanting to talk about this for months and months and months. I have put off talking about this in my fall favorites video and like my October favorites video. Like this is, I think the biggest game changer I have ever had like in terms of a product and this is just a bath pillow i've seen jacqueline hill speak about bath pillows before on her channel she's a really big amazon fan as well and she's a really big bath essentials person as well so um i don't know if this is the exact one that she uses but if you just google like bath pillow on amazon like a ton pop up um what i love about this is that you can wash it and honestly the suction is so good like when i was trying to take this out of my bathtub right now i had to really like struggle because a little tip when you do try to suction anything to like a tub or any of that kind of surface always wet it first um, and then adhere it because the suctions will not stick to a dry surface it sticks to a wet surface so if you just splash a little water on the wall of your tub and then stick this on it will stay put and let me tell you like um if you've been watching my channel you guys know that i am a big bath person i take baths literally every other day um it's basically like tradition and i would stay in them like i've stayed in a bath for like anywhere between half an hour to an hour like I've really built up my tolerance if you will but the one thing that was always missing was like the true like comfort like I just my back would always hurt and then my neck would hurt and I wouldn't know how to like sit or and I would like slouch you know just be very very uncomfortable um and I was like you know what like I've tried bath pillows before like I would go to home goods or TJ Maxx or one of those stores um and they just never had one that was like this or at least not that I've seen and so I've got ones that would always like slip and fall and I was like oh this is a gimmick but but I'm telling you, once I bought this, it changed the game for me. I can sit in there for hours. I'm just so comfy. You really don't know like how much you need it until you try it. And so what I do is I position this like on my upper back and then it's kind of like flexible. You can see right here. And I put this like towards the very, very top of like, um, not the lid of the bathtub, but you know what I mean? Like towards the edge of the tub. And then this is just where you can like lay your neck. So you're like this, let me get this straight. Like this oh my god i can stay in there for hours it is so comfy and it's so cushy and it washes well i would recommend you wash it because it can get that mildewy smell if you like leave it 
adhere to your tub especially with the water like sticking to it so i would recommend you wash it but oh my god game changing bathroom bath time essential speaking of another game changing bathroom essential i don't know if i've spoke i don't think i've spoken about this yet I don't, I don't think so because I think I was waiting for an Amazon favorites video. And I think they have different like heights. This is just the normal one. And a squatty potty is exactly how it sounds. Uh, you put this, you know, around your toilet and it just makes it easier to, um, what's the Charmin saying? Enjoy the go. I don't really know how much I can really say about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, hmm. it's just, <laughs> It's really, really, it's really good. It's also one of those things where you don't know you need it until you try it. So um, I would recommend you get it. You need it, you really need it. Okay, these I have to talk about and I am not someone who really was so keen on buying clothes or shoes or anything on amazon.com. Like I just, you know, and Amazon at the end of the day is a marketplace. So obviously they have tons of retailers that sell clothes and shoes and whatnot. But I mean, I bought stuff here and there, but I never would go to Amazon as my first stop to buy clothes and shoes, if that makes sense. I was about to go to my friend Chloe's wedding in October in Vegas and Amazon, obviously if you have Prime, it's known for arriving in one to two days. So sometimes I will go to Amazon if I'm in need of a last minute thing on like a last minute time crunch and so that is what happened with these like i was like i need a pair of shoes let's see what amazon has got especially since on tiktok there are a lot of tiktok accounts dedicated to hot amazon finds and stuff and i was like okay i feel like i might have seen maybe a couple accounts talk about you know like clear heels or whatever or shoes or anything so i just like looked and I found these and these I think were about like 30 to $40. So not too expensive, but clear heels are so in right now. Mules are really in right now. And I have a pair of clear heels that I really enjoy. Also wanted a kitten heel because uh, the wedding was on grass. And so I didn't want like a stiletto or anything. And I like that it's got like the flat point. So I was able to like stand and I know it'd be standing a lot. So I didn't really want to mess with like a tall like block heel or like a tall you know like stiletto so i was like these are cute enough let's just try it oh my god these are so amazing i would try them on for you right now but honestly my outfit is ridiculous <laughs> let's just do it anyway i will insert a photo of me in a dress that fits you know these shoes properly so um okay it looks so ridiculous i'm literally in like lulu's and this but um anything for the video guys right okay so They're very, very comfortable. Um, honestly, I think these are so in, they're so cute. You can wear them with any outfit except for this one. I wanted to give these a shout out because they are good quality for um, something that you might not otherwise think would be for like a brand that you would find or a product that you would purchase on Amazon. So um, these are like very cushiony too. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, something really random. Let's go back to the, the, home, the home category. This is the Cremax. Well, this is just a bug lamp, okay? And let me let me just tell you, okay? So two of my favorites in here correspond with bugs. Um, I now live in an area where in the summertime, mosquitoes are rampant and you know they just love coming out and I am very susceptible to bug bites. My entire life, there's this one time, quick little story time, in eighth grade, um, I went on a school field trip to Washington DC and I got a mosquito bite and my leg swelled up and it had its own pulse. It was rock hard, I had to elevate it. I had to call the principal and the vice principal and a nurse into my hotel room at like midnight. Um, it was really bad. And when I was in Hong Kong, like the same thing happened. They look like snake bites. Well, those are more humid climates. So maybe that's why I had more of an adverse reaction. But nonetheless, I am somebody who um, unfortunately gets a lot of bug bites. So anyway, um, in my new home, I find that randomly, you know, doors are open or whatever. Um, I was like, let me try to like mitigate this issue, right? Because I just don't enjoy bugs flying around my house. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't like bugs. But essentially you just turn it on and it glows like a nice purple light. So I honestly just turn it on every night for the aesthetic anyway. It attracts like little bugs you hear and every time it snaps a bug, it goes like you hear it like zapping. Um, you hear like a whole ass zap. And then what happens is you untwist this and the carcass of the bug is just in this tray. So it's pretty gross. Um, and you might be wondering why is this is a favorite of yours because this does the work that I simply do not want to do. Yes, I have a dog and you know, she doesn't really go after as many bugs as you would think. Like, yes, she's killed some moths before, but when you have this, I'm just like, why not? She happens to hate the sound of the zapping. And I will say, um, I have only bothered to peer into this once on my other one in my living room. And 
Um, it's been like months since that happened and I've heard it zap. Honestly, I hear it zap nightly, like at least a few times every night. And I am afraid to see how many carcasses are in there now. Anyway, this is great, a home essential, and I did buy mine on Amazon. I've also bought other kinds of bug lamps at Bed Bath & Beyond. Those I didn't find to be as effective. I mean, they were on clearance, so maybe that says something about it, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But I just know this one, Cremax, is definitely more effective, and you can also um, hang this outdoors. I just personally keep mine um, indoors for now. I mean, maybe once I set up my outdoor area more, I will be more inclined to put this bad boy out there. But as of now, it's just, it is what it is, and I'm just keeping it indoors. Okay, speaking of bug items, these buggable citronella wristbands. I bought a huge ass, like, multi-pack on Amazon. They're different colors, they're fun. I keep them, like, in my guest bathroom. I keep them in my kitchen. Like, anyone wants, like, a fun little souvenir when they come into my Ashley's house, they pick up a little buggable wristband so they don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes when they come here. Uh, they're not as effective as, like, DEET, and believe me, uh, I know I'm, like, a... A, like a beauty youtuber but over the past um few months i've become very uh akin and in tune with bug uh, deterrence so anyway um each comes in a little pack so they're cute little like gifts cute little party favors you know um and what i like about these is that they're citronella so they're not like the harsh deep chemicals granted they're not as effective i will say um when you unzip this the smell is very strong of citronella it just smells very herbally and what you can do is you put it around your wrist around your ankle um and i will say they're not that strong like they don't work as well as like off does but they're a nice kind of like natural option if you don't want those chemicals directly on your body because these are citronella sometimes if i put this around like my left anklet or whatever and i go out to walk i will find that my left anklet left anklet uh, ankle huh i will find that my left ankle stays perfectly fine there's no bug bites my right ankle if i don't have anything on there doesn't so they know this does repel them but it just won't repel over your entire body right so um, maybe that's why they sell on a multi-pack anyway i want to stop talking about bug repellents now these are really good and for sure an amazon favorite um okay i want to switch gears to something that i think is really really cool and again inspired by tiktok i bought a set of two i mean i have my other one in my bathroom this is just a foaming soap uh, mason jar and i love the aesthetic of it i am not somebody who will re use and repurpose and like make every single like packaging or container aesthetic for my home. I don't have the time for that. I don't really think I have the funds for that, but for like a nice counter piece of something I'm displaying like a soap jar, I'm happy to put it into like a nice aesthetic packaging. And so I found these on Amazon. It's a set of two. I think it was like $15, which I think is great. And it's also more sustainable, right? Like you can just keep refilling this. I am somebody who loves Bath and Body Works foam soaps, like hand soaps, which if you've been watching my channel, you know that. So I will just pour whatever Bath and Body Works hand soap I have into this. Or honestly, you don't have to use Bath and Body Works hand soaps, but I personally find them to be the most fragrant. And so I love them. Currently right here, I have crisp morning air. I will say this is a bigger jar than one full uh, foaming soap. So you'll have like some room left over. But what's so cute about these is that you can see I put a little sticker here and I actually got to choose from a set of four. So there's different kind of fonts according to what the aesthetic of your home is. Um, you can see the first and third one were the same. So I put, you know, I use the same for the two hand soaps because I just put one in my bathroom and then one in my kitchen and they are the same. But um, I just love that there's different fonts, you know, according to what the aesthetic of your home is. And I just think it's a great way to kind of like dip your toes into the whole like aesthetic you know realm so yeah i really enjoy these and i think they're great the one thing i will say is that um this pump happens to work perfectly fine you push it down and it's fine the other one that i have in my bathroom is a little bit more tricky sometimes when you push it down it stays um i just rinsed it off i just unscrewed it and tried to like rinse it off to clear any of maybe the soap that was stuck in there and that seemed to work so yeah just heads up to that but other than that i think it's great okay i have two um like amazon like alexa products to talk about one of them is the amazon alexa smart plug which basically looks like this and it's just a plug that you plug into your wall for something else to plug into. And I actually got this, I think I wasn't even intending on buying it, it wasn't on my radar, but I saw a thing for it um, on the Amazon homepage that was like, one time deal, like 99 cent of Amazon Alexa smart plug. And so they were literally um, selling it for 99 cents as opposed to, I think it's normally 20 to $24. So I was like, huh, sold, I'm buying it. So what's great about this is that I actually plug my bedroom, one of my bedroom lamps into this. 
and it's voice activated so you can do you don't have to just do lamps you can do um, anything that plugs into a socket and you kind of configure it to um, turn on when you need it. So I plug my one of my bedroom lamps into it. So I say, Alexa, light on. And then because it's plugged into here, it activates it and then she'll say, okay, and then she'll turn the light on. So it's a nice little voice activating kind of situation. I think it's great to have, you know, for lamps, if you come home and you don't want to like, you're in the dark and you can't see where the light switch is. Or for me, because my bedroom is like in a hallway and it's dark, like I'd rather just teller from across the hall and have you know that light so it's definitely a very convenient thing and like i said you can use it for more than just a lamp um but i think it's definitely worth it and i would definitely purchase another one but especially for 99 cents it couldn't go wrong and i was like eh, if it sucks i hate it and i don't have to like feel bad about the 99 cents but it's just something that i really enjoy and then another amazon favorite which is actually something my parents gave to me is the echo show clock this is basically my new alarm clock speaker combo that i keep in my bedroom and she's my alarm she is music she is great why am i calling her she maybe it's because it's alexa on the home screen it'll cycle through like different articles or be like recipes and then you can always say alexa show me this and i always will ask her for the weather so she's basically just a very intuitive alexa like clock and i really enjoy it and this is something i truly use every single day i kind of want to get another one um for like my beauty room the only thing that's just kind of confusing is that i have a mini google home so i get kind of confused like which room i am in because this is alexa and then i have google home in my kitchen so i'm like uh, what am i using this is my dog's name tag i actually ordered this i custom ordered it on amazon and i um like going online for things like this because in store at like pet stores i find that the options are more like limited so i was like huh let me just see what they have you know online so um i got i'm gonna try to cover my information but i got a black bone and obviously her name is maple and i got little hearts etched into it and this is just a very good quality dog tag like there's a little bit of weight to it it's not super duper flimsy i've had this for several months now and the writing has not worn off and i keep this on her collar um next to her rabies tag so she you know these are always like jingling jangling next to each other and then on the back um you just you know you can write however much you want obviously i have please return to and then i have my address and you know my phone number and all that stuff so yeah i mean very simple but i just thought maybe if you guys wanted to check out a cool um shop there like i think it's like a little shop that's made overseas of like dog or cat or pet tags this is a great thing i would recommend them i love the different colors that you can choose i love that it's a matte finish i love the weight to it i love the different like designs that you can have etched onto it as well so yeah okay my last favorite i want to give a shout out to these little led lights i'm filming with right now which is kind of weird but um these are the led photography light k70d light so what i love is that i have two facing me right now and they're on tripods but you can make them really really short so i just have them on my vanity they're great little studio lights you can turn up the brightness i will demonstrate to you i'm going to turn up my left one you can see can you see how bright that got i have another stand because i'm not using the third one basically it comes wrapped in this and you just plug it in you have like different screens that you can put over it to like change the color but I personally don't need that because I just been filming it with natural. I just like to add a little bit. And so, yeah, I really enjoy these. If you're someone who's into shooting content and you don't want to spend the big bucks on big like softbox lights, or maybe you need something smaller, more compact. I personally really enjoy these and you can always angle them as well. You can adjust the height. They're very inexpensive relative to what you would normally pay for like studio lighting. They're like, I think 40 to $50 what for a set of three. So I think it personally, it's a great deal. All right, everybody. And that was it for my Amazon favorites. This latest roundup. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I talked about. I will have all of the names in the description box below exactly as they are on Amazon. So you can literally just copy and paste, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what your favorite Amazon find has been lately. I'm dying to know because I am on Amazon perpetually, like all of the time, like every day. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, please. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.